Conservative media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Okay, so over there in New Zealand, we know that they've already, the Defense Force basically already released a lot of UFO files. Now they're releasing the rest of them, right? These, these last files that they have on UFO sightings that begin in 1952, a famous uh, Kaikoura incident there in uh, 1978 was part of that first batch they released. Now they are releasing all of the rest of them to the public. However, they're also saying that they're no longer going to be in the whole UFO uh, file business. That, you know what, they're, this is my personal opinion, not legend, back testing, expression, check this claim, it's all for entertainment purpose only. That basically said, look, you know, we're, we're not experts in this. This isn't our deal, and we're not going to deal with it anymore. But they're releasing all the, of the rest of the files. Their characterization, from what I can ascertain here, from what I've read, is that these files don't really contain anything that's that big anyway, but they are releasing it. Do you want to see the files? Or that, that the New Zealand Defense Defor uh, Force is releasing. What do you think about this? This uh, them releasing these files. Should other governments around the world also release their UFO files? And if they're not, why do you think that is? So I want to know what you think about New Zealand releasing the rest of their UFO files. I also want to know what you think about the uh, New Zealand Defense Force no longer. Uh, being in the UFO file business, if you will. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? And I'm going to have another video coming up on a change over there, apparently, in the way they want to classify UFOs and what that means. So stay tuned for that, and you tell me what's up. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media.